my own designer suit. Um, it's, it's known as Ayamashe. Um, well, popularly we'll call it the green steel. It's designer steel anyway. It's nice. So I want to show you how I used to do it in my own kitchen. Believe me, it comes out very, very, very delicious. So to start with, I'm going to show you the ingredients I'm going to use today. First of all, you will need your meat assorted. Any type of meat you want. I'm going to that's the meat. Um, you're going to need green veg, green veg. That's green um that share whatever it's called. Um big pepper green. Then you need the normal pepper green one as well. And then you will need for seasoning, for seasoning the meat, you will need thyme, dried thyme, you will need your snow maggi, you need aromat optional. Salt, I forgot to put it here, you need salt as well. You need your meat seasoning and onions to season the meat. Then for the yamashe, you have to need local beans. This is local beans. You will need onions as well, red oil, and the egg to boil to put at the end. And for my own test, I love to put crayfish. It gives it that local taste. Believe me, when you try it with crayfish, you will really, really love it. Sometimes I do put dry fish as well, but I don't have dry fish for now. And I don't want to use dry fish for this one. Because I'm making it for get-together party, you know. So, I'm going to need my crayfish as well. So, that's basically what you need to do your designer I am a chef. So let's get into the cooking. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the meat to my size and put it on the fire. Clean up the pepper, the green pepper and this one and blend it together with this. Let's get on to it. So um, I've washed and cut the meat washed it properly so now I'm going to put it on the fire I'm adding uh, maggi onions already diced then dried thyme and then I'm going to add salt Adding salt, and then I'm going to add this meat seasoning. Add a little bit of aromat for taste. I'm going to put water in it and put it on the gas to cook it very well. While I'm boiling this, I'm going to bleach my oil, my red oil. If you don't know what bleaching means, it's practically just to put it in the fire, in the pot and just lower, bleach it on a very low, 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 low uh, fire. Then while that is on, I'm going to clean up my green pepper as well, ready to blend it. See you guys. So while my while my meat is cooking on the fire, I have my oil bleaching as well. So I'm just blending the pepper and the onion. So I add this locust beans. And I'm using food processor because um, it's more nice to blend it with this than normal blender.
that because this I don't want it to be fine chopped, you know, fine um, blended. So I love using food processor. And you don't need water with food processor. That's another advantage. You don't need to start adding water for it. So
so just leave it open and let the flame go out of the the pepper you're cooking don't cover the pot it's very very important so i'll let it boil and i'll come back to it so what um the stew is cooking and uh, i have practically like stayed several times and then what I did was when it started bubbling out to dirty everywhere, I just covered the pot halfway. So make sure you don't cover it fully. So I just covered the pot halfway and now it's fully cooked. The color has changed and the, the water is dried. So what I'm going to do now is to make it tasty, to add some tasty stuff. So I have my no Maggi, I add it. And I have my aromat optional but i like aromat it gives taste it's magia so but it's very nice for food so i just add some aromat for taste and then stay it and i'm boiling my rice one corner there and you can eat it with spaghetti as well it's very yummy delicious with spaghetti as well so i do eat it with spaghetti white spaghetti or white pasta as well and then rice it's very nice so and my crayfish now goes in this is when i add my crayfish it makes it very tasty and local you know that local taste i love it so i add my crayfish i stir them all together and then another thing i add to make it tasty is my sauce you know the meat sauce when i boil the meat so the sauce, I leave it behind and um, because of the spices added, it makes it nice. So I add it in a blender and blend it and then add it to my yamashe. It makes it, gives it very good taste as well. So that I don't rely on only maggie. So I'll blend it now. So that basically how I cook my ayamase, my designer steel. And then stay it. Mm. So one thing I'm, I think I'm forgetting is salt. But I don't put salt until I test it because I've added that sauce from the meat. And there is uh, salt in it and there's maggi in it already so i do make my testing before i add salt so always taste first because before adding salt because the spices most of them contain salt because everybody taste is different when you're eating and you need so you can just sprinkle a little salt but I don't add too much salt to my food when I cook so that's it done for now I leave it to soak for a while and soak all the ingredients that I just added so I cover it halfway halfway I always do I don't cover it fully even though it's okay now, but I don't cover it fully. So I'll be back. I'll be back to check on it. Okay. So my designer soup is now properly cooked. It's all done. I left it for some time after adding those things to just soak and 
boy for some minutes so now the last thing last last thing i'm going to do is to add my meat and my eggs so you know like i boiled the meat after boiling it i grilled it i didn't let it grill 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 just to give it a little bit change of color i just add them put them in the oven just let it grill for some time so it's optional but i like doing mine like that so i'm going to add the meat now the meat to my own sizable test I'm going to add some more meat I think I have enough meat now Oh, it looks so yummy. So the meat has already been done and no need of leaving it to boil for a long time again. It's already done. So the last thing I'm going to do now is to add my eggs. Like I showed you at the beginning, I have eggs to add. It's optional. You don't need to add eggs if you don't like eggs. But I'm adding eggs because I'm cooking for get some people get together so some people like eggs so the last thing i'm going to do is to just add the eggs i've already boiled them peeled them and when i'm when i was boiling it i added a little bit of salt to boil it that makes it easy to peel the eggs so i'm going to add my eggs at this stage i reduce my fire because my yamase is done ready to be eating yummy yummy i can't wait a little bit of remove it okay So that's it done guys and the next thing I'm going to do now is to take some of it and just test it on my table it's lovely looks delicious so I'll just leave it for a little few minutes to bump out and that's it it's done thanks for watching guys love you all thank you and see you in my next video